Hi there, and welcome to the Underground. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a user personality on a SmartFade ML. In this example, I'm using SmartSoft, but the process should be exactly the same for the physical console. Note that the SmartFade ML uses pre mapped parameters to the faders on the console. Here we have two pages of them. So let's take a look at our fixture personalities that we need to create. So here we have two fixtures that we need to create. The first one is a moving head fixture. The second is a basic LED path. So let's get started. So here I am at my smart fade. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the menu and I'm going to navigate to patch. In patch, I'm going to change to patch devices and then I'm going to change to user personalities. So the user personalities are numerically ordered from one the first one we're going to create is personality one. So now we're going to go into edit the personality and you can see down here that all of my faders are representing various parameters for the fixture. In the left hand screen, we have the offset. So this relates to the, the DMX channel in the fixture itself. In the middle, we have the color mixing mode. We'll come to this on our second fixture. And on the right of the left hand screen, we have the home value. On the right hand display, we can see what we've currently assigned this offset to. So let's get going. Our first offset is intensity. So for this, I'm going to press fader one. And we can see that it has now been assigned to intensity. Now I'm going to roll on to offset number two. Our, our second offset is pan. So for that, I'm going to press fader two, which is pan. You can now see that offset two is assigned to pan. I'm going to scroll on to three. Now here we have pan fine. For this, I'm going to select pan again, and the console can now see that we have a pan fine instead of a standard pan because that is on offset two. Offset four is our tilt. For that, I'm going to press fader three for tilt. Offset five is tilt fine. So I'm going to press tilt again. Offset six is our color wheel. And for that, I'm going to select wheel one. Offset seven is our gobo wheel. For that, I'm going to select gobo one, select. Offset eight is the zoom. For this, I'm going to select 21 for zoom. Offset nine is focus. Now on the smart fade, that's called edge. Offset 10 is the gobo rotate. So for this, I'm going to select gobo one rotate. And that is our first fixture created. So to back out of this, I'm going to hit the back arrow. And just to check that it's saved, if I go back into edit, we can scroll through and we can see our assignments are still all here. Now let's look at our second fixture. So now I'm going to go to personality number two. I'm going to hit the tick and I'm going to go to edit. So now for offset number one, I have intensity. Offset number two is red. So the next thing I need to do is select my color mixing mode as this is an LED par fixture. For that, I'm going to select more and I'm going to keep selecting it until I get RGB because that's the color mixing on this fixture. So now offset two is red. So for that, with my color mix set to RGB, I'm going to tap hue. And you can see the first color has been assigned to red because that's the first one in the color mixing mode. Offset three is green. So I'm going to press hue again. Now you can see it's taken the second color in the color mixing mode, which is green. Offset four is blue. I'm going to press hue again, and now it's taken the third color in the color mixing mode. And offset five is the strobe. And for this, I'm going to press fader 10, which is the shutter strobe. Now, for our LED part, we need to make sure that the colors are homing at full. So for this, I'm going to scroll back to two, which is red, and I'm going to fade all the way up to 255, which is 100%. I'm going to do the same for green and blue.
For our strobe parameter, zero is the open shutter. So I'm going to make sure that we are homing at zero here. And that is our two fixture personalities complete. Now to patch these, I'm going to hit back and I'm going to go all the way back to the patch menu. Now I'm going to go into patch devices and then the patch wizard. In here, it's going to default to user defined. And remember, our first user defined uh, personality is our moving head fixture. We've got a patch four of those. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to start at device one, universe one, DMX one. And I've got four of these patched sequentially. So I'm going to change the count to four. Console is indicating we've we are using 40 DMX addresses here. I'm going to hit yes, and it's going to ask me to confirm. I'm sure I want to patch. And that is those fixtures patched. Now I have four of my LED PAR fixtures. So to change the personality, I'm going to back out and change to mode uh, user defined two. And we can see that our footprint is five, which lines up with our fixture personality. I'm going to hit the tick to go in here. We are starting at device five DMX 41. And I have four of these fixtures. So I'm going to hit the tick. Am I sure I want to patch? Yes, I am. And that is my console patched and ready to go. To verify this, I'm going to hit the exit button to go back into live. And then I'm going to select device select. And you can see I have my eight devices here. So I'm going to select the first four, which are my moving heads. And you can see the, the, the parameters that this fixture have are now lit, is now lit up. I can pan and tilt and select my gobo, select my color, and those fixtures seem to be working fine. Now to check my LEDs, I can see I've got intensity, hue and saturation, and the shutter strobe. With the LED fixture, I can also hit the color button and use the pre-built color palettes. So that is it for creating our fixture personalities and patching them on the console. One final thing to note is that there are two pages of fixture parameters. Param1 shows the first page of parameters that we've been working with in this video. There is also some extended parameters on page two, including custom parameters that you can use for fixtures that don't have the correct parameters on the SmartFade console. Thank you very much for watching this video.